What got me going those few years ago, recording Austin Poetry Open Mics, from the time I saw an old used VHS recorder, to buying long videos for 50 cents a piece so I could record over them, was no matter who read, they all said the same thing. And sure, the voices, the inflection, the use of figurative language or not, was all different. But though every single one of them spoke, wrote differently, they also, to a T, from the most ancient one to the very youngest one, said, to put it simply, the same thing. What I love matters to me, and I hope it does to you too. So here, take a look, listen, Perhaps you will find something of value in it. So for several years now I have kept up the work. Really, it's become sort of a religion. Go to shows, film them, post them for others to see. And it has always been my dream that every soul, whether blessed with a poetic spirit, like these faces you see before you, caught with my mind, eye, and camera, or not, could revel in the release of their spirit within. For poetry is no great thing, no high nor low art. It is just that fun and loving thing in each of us which makes light in a world where perhaps there truly is only dark. So with this passage of time, the one it took me to make this, I have thought long and hard about that soul that poets write about or wear on their sleeve. Though when it is aired sounds differently as every single breath or falling leaf is in fact the same. It is the ultimate desire for peace. Not only in themselves, but in the world they share with everyone else. For without that, they, no one, can truly be themselves. These poets, like all those fore, aft, and sideways of them, know that true love for self, for others, for anyone, can only be found if we make peace. Make peace make peace. Salud Mazeltov Lahaim in all the unpronounceable words of the God or gods, may your spirit be lifted from you so that you may know for certain what lies underneath. <laughs>